Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we are doing a tutorial video on division. You can see this is long division, where we have four-digit dividends, one-digit divisors, and you're going to get uh, three-digit uh, quotients. And this, of course, is from MathDrills.com. Make sure to check out MathDrills. They have tons of great math resources. I also have a playlist for them if you want to check that out. Now, in this video, I'm going to use the box method. Okay, now this is not an original method of mine. I've got this from somebody else, but I really like it. A lot of my students, especially my sixth graders, like it because it keeps uh, students organized when they're dealing with this information. Let me show you how to set it up. We're going to go ahead and start with the first problem using the box method. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, very similar to how we have this, but just using the box. So I'm going to put the two on the outside, and I'm going to put 1054, each with their own separate box. One of my modifications, the box method, I put this little line there. It's just, you'll see why it's helpful in just a second, okay? But the principle remains the same, just like in normal long division. I'm going to first see how many times two goes into the number one. I'm going to start with my first box here. Let me change the highlighter. So I'm going to start with my first box here. I'm going to see how many times two goes into one, and that is zero times. I can't multiply two by anything to get to one uh, without going over. So I can just multiply it by zero. That's under. Okay, zero is less than one. And I'm going to get a remainder. These boxes down here represent like the remainder each time. Okay, so once I'm done with this remainder, I'm going to move it up to the next box. Okay, the next column over. And so this new number is going to be 10. So we can work with that. So now I know that 2 goes into 10 five times. 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, and then I'm going to subtract and I get a zero remainder this time. Again, I'm going to bring it up. So I'm going to bring up this guy, okay, and then I am going to get uh, 0, 5. Now, that just means 5, okay? So if I have a 0 in front of the number, it's just that number. So then I say to myself, 2 goes into 5 how many times? That's twice. 2 times 2 is 4. So this time I'm going to get a remainder. My remainder is going to be 1, okay? And then I'm going to move this up to the last one, and that's going to be make it 14. And how many times does 2 go into 14? It goes in 7 times, and that's 14. And then you can see that this last box right here is important because this is our remainder for the uh, quotient. So this last box, if it's a zero remainder, it's going to be, I don't know why this keeps erasing. <laughs> so this last box is going to be uh, a remainder for the quotient. So in this case, okay, again, last box. I know there's a remainder each time, but uh, this last box is more important because you normally have like R2 or R3. In this case, it's going to be R0. So it's just 527. What this means is if we multiplied 527 times 2, we would get 1,054. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this box. Um, and I'm going to use it for my other problems. Okay, so I'm going to just copy and paste it. That should work. Copy. And let's go ahead and do... Um, now let's do one from the bottom row. So let's go to this nine. That looks tough. Okay, and I need one little extra line there. I think it helps having this line. Um, and we'll paste it. And then we'll probably copy and paste this so I can save it for next time. Okay, so this is my, my box method box. Okay, again, I need a column for each of my problems or each one of my digits of the dividend. And then my uh, divisor just goes on the outside. So we have three, three, seven, five. That's what that is, and the 9 goes on the outside. Um, one thing you can do, too, is if you know that 9 is not going to go into 3, what you can do is you can just erase that column and make it a big one. Okay, So some of my students like that, and now I'm just thinking to myself, how many times does 9 go not into 3, 3, but 33? And I know 9 goes into 33 three times, and that's 27. Then I subtract, and I get 6. I bring up the 6 to the next column, and I get 67. 9 goes into 67. 7 times, and that's 63. So I get a remainder of 4. Now it's 45, so I have 5. 9 goes into 45 5 times, and that number is 45. Remainder 0. Anytime you get remainder 0, I think it's a good thing. Okay, I don't need to worry about a remainder. So I just know it's 375 exactly. Kind of an interesting problem there. Let's go ahead and uh, try to find another tough one. Let's bring this box up to the divide by 7. I'm guessing the, the bigger the divisor, the tougher problem it is for most people. So I'm going to go ahead and put 4. I swear that's a 4. 4, 7, 2, 5. I'm going to divide that by 7. Again, if it doesn't go into the first number, 7 does not go into 4. You can erase it okay, and just make it 47. 
I know four, uh, seven goes into 47 almost seven times, but it's not. It's six. Seven times seven is 49. That's too big. So I go six, and that's going to be 42. So I subtract. I get five. And then I carry the five over. Seven times seven is 49. That's as close as I can get. And that's remainder three. Bring the three up to the next column. I get seven. It goes into 35 five times, and that's exactly 35. There's no remainders in this worksheet. As you can see, here's my remainder zero. So my answer is 600. 75. Okay, uh, let's do one more just for fun. Uh, we could do, let's do the last one. That probably looks like the next toughest. So we're going to go 7, 0, 9, and 2. And we're going to put the 9 here. Now, let's say you're not uh, comfortable with that whole erase thing. Let's go ahead and just take it one step at a time. 9 goes into 7, 0 times. That's 0, 7, and then it goes over. So you can see it just becomes combined, but I just wanted to show you that. Uh, in case that was uh, tripping you up. So I go 9 goes into 70 seven times. That's 63. Remainder 7 after I subtract. Then I put it up in the next column. And I know that 9 goes into 79 eight times, and that's 72 this time. Remainder 7. And then there's that 72. That goes in exactly eight times. Remainder 0. That last box is always going to be a remainder for the problem. So my answer is 788. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was the box method. Uh, you can use traditional long division. Um, I have a several videos on that if you want to check that out. There's math drills videos I have for normal long division with box assist. Make sure to check out my math drills playlist if you want to see more of those. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.